and we're gonna back the sprayer out because tomorrow we gotta give the wheat another little drink of 28 get it growing good and then this tractor gets put on the corn planter so we'll get some corn in the ground this weekend i did not look behind me at all before i tried to do that he uh how did he get this in here like this i'm about 80 percent sure there's nothing behind me It's a very tight fit, height-wise. We will go park this by the fertilizer containment. Yeah, it's putting on a load of beans right now. So we'll stay out of his way. But our wheat is uh, starting to look better now. It's starting to fill out. A little bit and looking all right now but it's not fantastic but no idea what's in that tote not my problem but anyway any hoosers the wheat is looking all right now it's starting to thicken up some still 15 inch rows, it's not going to get that thick, but it's probably worth keeping. Well, after tomorrow, if we top dress it again, we kind of have to keep it. Fertilizer is too much to rip it up. I also got the drill greased, changed a few seed tubes, put new bearings in all the closing wheels here, check air in the tires, greased it, that's ready to go. Yeah, these little bearings here quite a few of them were out so we changed a bunch it's also on the wrong tractor here this one don't have a pto so we'll get this put back in the barn we ain't gonna plant beans anytime real soon so put it away Whew, the windows are dirty on this goodness Soon, sweetie. We'll be going. I just got back to the farm. It's the next day. And Dad is out back with the 8640 and the field cultivator. And I'm just about to start with the land owl. So, we'll see how well this goes. Well, it's going all right. There's Dad, if you can see him. 640. We're in the 8760. It's a little wetter than I would like, but it's going. You can definitely tell where the grain cart ran. Those spots are real wet. Back here where we had this really good corn, uh, there is a lot of fodder. A lot more than where it rotted a little bit behind us. This was that uh, really good corn we had last fall. But I like to see it about that black right there. Chop it up fine enough that it'll go through the field cultivator. It's 
right now, this is all fun to feel called a Vader. I don't know how people do that. I've never had good luck with corn stalks going through a field cultivator. Every single time they've always plugged. And that's why we run this Landau disc. It seems to cut them up real well. But that must be done fitting back there. It's coming around doing my end rows for me. You can see some little ruts here. The drain cart and the combine drill. She pulls kind of hard through there. I don't know where he's going now. Do you, Steve? Well, these new LED lights are sure a lot better. It's a crazy difference when you're running it. I know this camera doesn't do it justice. But, I mean, when you're running through the field, you can easily see the color packer back there. I'm turned right now, so you can't see nothing, but they are bright. First day of tillage is going all right. Got water in my beard. Disc is working pretty good. There's not a whole lot of dishing on these Landau blades. I don't remember what angle. This is not the adjustable Landau that you can go to zero to, I don't know what it goes up to, but. This is just the, the older version, but it's worked really good for us. Now that thing will cut through about anything. We've never had to, well, one time we had it, we didn't want to cut in, but this machine weighs, I think, 26,000 pounds. So it is very heavy. And the 8760 is only 305 horse. We pull this, I've been going about seven and a half eight mile an hour I probably could kick kick it up a gear but we're going about two and a half three inches deep trying to fill in the ruts and the corn stalks so we ain't gonna go that much faster and a lot of people around here have been getting into the high-speed discs and they've been running them lately but it's been pretty wet even a high-speed disc is still a disc you don't really want to run them when they're wet corn stalks that's all we got to run to get through them so it is what it is well brother's got a dentist appointment this morning so Sammy is coming with me today too many buttons in this tractor he likes to got some radio hydraulics air conditioning button he can find and he's gonna push it. He's been a little tired of riding in here. We only got a little bit more to go. Just these end rows on the west end of the field. So we just finished that field up and I think we're probably gonna go get some lunch. Hopefully mama will be home and Move on to the next field. Yeah? You wanna keep riding in the tractor? Yeah, do you have fun? Yeah. He likes riding in the tractor. On to the next one. Well, Dad and I kinda got a little switcheroo, so I'm gonna be running the 8640 now on the field cultivator. And he just took off with the disc and 8760 so I don't know why he just wanted to switch I uh, got the tanker filled full of fertilizer for a starter that was fun and now I'm gonna head off and 
get the, the back 60 fit down so we can get it planted tomorrow. And then I'm going to try to fit some of these corn stalks down again with a field cultivator and color packer. And get some of these lumps knocked out. And see how well it fits down to plant to beans tomorrow as well. There's a, I think 110 acres right here. Corn stalks I fit last night and this morning. I only had about seven acres to go. Probably should have finished it last night, but my eyes were tired. So me and Sam got that done this morning. And we've been running around <clears throat> getting other stuff ready all day. Dad top dressed wheat again. Got the, we do a split application. So he put the next bit of it on. So that's done. We got the weeds sprayed in the wheat. That's all done. Don't have sprayer until we get corn up or spray pre emerge. So oh, let's get moving. Well, we ain't going quite deep enough, so we're going to adjust the depth on this coon field cultivator. This is one of the most annoying parts about this cultivator, is you have to adjust every single wheel. Well, set of wheels, so four of them. So, that's what we're going to do now. We're gonna call it a day. That's just a little bit too wet to fit. I mean, it's like a day is all it needs to dry. It should run good, but uh, tomorrow I think finish getting our corn planter ready. And that only take a couple hours, but get that ready and we'll probably be planting corn this weekend. But yeah, we'll get stuff going here, and spring videos should be coming pretty soon, probably in the next week or two. But all right, everybody. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you later.